Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Elizabeth, Benjamin, Ken, Savitri, and Sister Christine, I'd like to welcome, and family, I'd like to welcome all of you all here. I know many of you all have come long distances, and please just want to tell you how much we appreciate you being here, and, and we really thank you for your efforts to getting here. Today, we're the proudest parents of the whole world. Seeing my daughter look so happy and radiant is an amazing feeling. It was in 1988, 20th of September, when I first saw my beautiful girl. You know? What is it? me directly in the eye and it's a, it's a moment in time that I can see it so clearly even today. And then there was yesterday. Yesterday. Did she not look beautiful as yesterday? <laughs> and did, did he not look handsome yesterday? And then ladies and gentlemen, we have the couple again here today. Say Chris, the pros <laughs> Kittle, you've been a wonderful daughter, and I will cherish forever the memories, oh sorry, we will cherish forever the memories of <laughs> watching you grow from a baby to a woman who's beautiful both on the inside, as beautiful as you are on the outside. You guys want to know how Chris came into our lives? So a few years ago, you know, for some reason we would go to the keg like three times a week. <laughs> and there was this awesome manager. I mean, seriously, fancy bottles of wine, great scotch. Even before I sat down, there was some Sir George's scotch for you. Especially <laughs> made food, desserts. And I'm going, you know, I'm falling in love with this guy. Yeah, what a book. Restaurant, right? I loved it. Right? Then about six months went by, and then one day Elizabeth says, Don't you know they're dating? <laughs> I'm going, Oh my god, Pado, are you really that dumb? <laughs> you know, so naturally I went into my dad a lot, shotgun, where's my shotgun style? <laughs> The problem was, I was still not with this manager. <laughs> I was, and, the, and the wine got better and better. <laughs> and then a little while later, he comes in here with this little adorable puppy, Koda. Most of y'all know he's not a puppy, he's almost a horse now. <laughs> and then, and then I was sold. I said, anyone with that kind of style, it's fine by me. <laughs> so I, I know that tradition dictates that at this point I'm supposed to welcome Chris to our family. The reality is that Chris has been part of our family for, for many years and we love him, Chris. <laughs> Over the years we've grown to love you, Ken Savitri. I'm looking forward to all lots of evenings where you can sit around the fire. Boy, do I have stories to tell you about your son. <laughs> You know, and some of them are not sure you're going to say, really? <laughs> Don't worry, Chris, we're not talking about last New Year's. <laughs> That's our secret. <laughs> so, <laughs> so today we have filled with the curious mixture. No, I get to this time. Today we have filled with the curious mixture of joy and wonder, joy and the happiness of seeing our beautiful, beautiful daughter. I wonder the miracles of seeing the little baby girl grow from a little girl to a beautiful bride. And who I have the honor of walking down the aisle of the voice now. I want you all to know that we will always be there for you And for my father David's sermon today, there will be times when you need us. So call us. Both of you look wonderful. Chris, I want you to love Chris, respect him, take care of Chris. And Chris, 
Please love us too. You take care of me. We wish you all nothing but nothing but the very best and every success and happiness possible. Ladies and gentlemen, before I finish, once again, thank you so much. You have a wonderful for you all to join us today. And now it's my honor to propose a tour. Can you? That's a wife. <laughs> now it's my honor to propose a toast to the happy couple. And I know that everyone here would want to join me in raising your glasses and wishing them a very long, happy, healthy future to get a filled with laughter and ask you to Raise your glasses.